be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel. But without further ado, we're going to jump right in. What we're going to be talking about is another viewer says subscriber topic, all right? Um we have Smooth the Light here. He's basically asking about the play end marker. He's there's some dead space um, on one of the beats that I made um, on this channel. And uh, he's just asking how do we remove that space at the end. And so what we're going to be doing is showing you that. So this is the beat here. Um, he's referring to basically I made a copy of this uh, intro part and put it over here at the end. Um, and as you can see, if I zoom in here, there's a whole lot of space. So after you, after this beat ends, this is going to be playing for a long time, right? So you don't want that. So like if I bounce this down to an MP3 or wave, you're going to literally have about maybe 30 seconds of dead space here. So this is what 251 all the way to the end. Yeah, at least 30 seconds. Well, how do you fix that is actually by going to this guy right here. You can't really see him, but this is called the play end marker. And just go over here to the top right very t tip of it and then just drag it on over to the very end all right this is a big hack right here and big tip uh, especially if you're just getting started because a lot of times we just neglect that after we make the beat and you can you can make it however much space you want to so that's how you do that that's how you remove that space um, by using the play in marker um, also, another tip here, if you are ever confused of what something is within Logic Pro 10, all you have to do is go to this arrow right here. All right. This is called your quick help button. If you click, click that or select that, anything you hover over is going to give you a description of what it is. So, for instance, boom, this is the patch category. You can see what that is. All right. This is uh, the name field. MIDI region workspace you know what i'm saying scroll over to this guy project in marker cycle area you know this will help out especially if you're new you don't know what things are or where things are different things like that just put that button on there and go ahead and explore logic pro 10. that's pretty much going to be the video today i just wanted to give you that tip also answer smooth the lights question about how to remove that dead space after the end of your track and the answer is using the play end marker. Go ahead and move that to the end of your beat. If you want more tips like this or have your other questions that you want answered, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment in the comments section and give me a thumbs up on the video. Definitely helps out the channel. Make sure you visit my website, beatmakingbasics.com. I have courses that you can download. You don't have to be online to, in order to take them. They come with source files and different things like that. I also have drum kits, melody kits, all types of fun stuff. Go to my website, cop one of the products there, and continue to support the channel by staying subscribed and giving me thumbs up on the videos. Also leaving comments, that way I can answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.